For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com All right, guys, let's do this problem where it says block D and E have a mass of 4 kilograms and 6 kilograms each. If X is equal to 2, so this is 2 meters. Find the force F and the sag S for equilibrium. So basically, you know that D has a weight of 4 kilograms times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81, so the weight comes out to be 39.24 newtons. And the weight of E has a weight of 6 kilograms times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81, and it comes out to be 58.86 newtons. So if this is that, this tension on this cable is the same as this weight, so let's call it DC. It's also equal to 58.86 in equilibrium. And this DC is the same, 58.86. And the same goes for this one. DD is equal to 39.24, same as this in equilibrium. And this is TD as well. So we have this angle theta, this angle, I believe this is alpha, and this is S. So you know that some of the forces in the X is equal to zero. So TC negative DB cosine of alpha plus dc cosine of theta is equal to zero. So dc cosine of theta is equal to db cosine of alpha. Now, you know that, <coughs> let me draw some triangles. This is theta. This is alpha. You know that this is s, this is s, this is 2. If this is 2, this is 4. 6 minus 2 is 4, so this is 4. This is AC, and this would be AB in length, which we don't know. So you know that cosine of alpha is equal to 4 over AB. Now AB is equal to S squared plus 4 squared by the Pythagorean theorem, right? So when you replace this over here you get that this cosine of this angle is equal to 4 over square root of s squared plus 4 squared. And the same thing goes for the other one. Cosine of theta is equal to 2 over ac, but you know that ac is equal to, by the Pythagorean theorem, d square root of 2 squared plus s squared. Notice the difference. ab is 4 square s squared and ac is 2 square s squared because it's different distances. So when you replace this and you put it in here, you get that the cosine of theta is equal to 2 over square root of 2 squared plus s squared. So what you're going to do is this and this formula. Replace them in here. So you're going to get that dc cosine of theta is right here, 2 over square root of 2 squared plus s squared. So you get that dc, this is 2, square root of 2 squared plus s squared is equal to db 2 s squared plus 4 squared. And we know dc and db. 
we know TC is TC is 58.6 it's 58.86 58.86 I don't know why I wrote 58 over here this is 86 and TV is equal to thirty nine point twenty four so basically we're gonna start solving this equation um, you basically pass it each to the other side and you're basically gonna get something like this like this multiply fifty eight point eighty six times two you get one seventeen point seventy two over the square root of two square plus s square is equal to 39.24 times this is actually equal to 4 this is not 2 as you can see right here this is 4 so 39.24 times 4 is equal to 156.96 square root of s square plus 4 square so you get s square plus 4 square over 2 square plus s square is equal to basically 156 divided by 117 and this comes out 1.3333 so you square both sides square both sides And you get that s square plus 4 square is over 2 square plus s square is equal to 1.7777 keep going let me turn the page so basically you're gonna multiply these two square plus s square pass it over here multiplying by 1.777 that's my next step and that would be that would look something like this s squared plus 16 is equal to 7.111 plus 1 1.778 s squared so 8.89 is equal to 0.778 s squared s squared is equal to 11.43 s is equal to the square root of 11.43 so s is equal to positive negative 3.38 but s is a distance so it's positive 3.38 meters with this s you basically can find the rest of the angles now if you see let me see you plug s you plug s into this formula then you plug s into this formula and you're gonna get the results for these two angles which is 40.2 degrees and 59.4 degrees and then you plug it into then you know that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero you know that tc sine of theta plus tb sine of alpha minus f is equal to zero you got TC, you got TV, you got theta, you got this angle, you plug them all into this formula, you solve for F, and you get that F is going to be equal to 76 newtons. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.